before the people that love me for who i am before you drop that comment i just want to apologize and say that please ebba me i couldn't film my natural face today because i had content to film so manage me like this i understand you guys appreciate my natural face and all that but i cannot always appear with my natural face especially if i'm having a full content day that aside hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl bstef and i'm back with another video if it's your first time here if it's your first time seeing me don't make you last kindly subscribe do those good stuff youtubers ask you guys to do whenever i repost a new video now if it's not your first time here hey loves thank you so much for coming back to watch my video for me truly appreciate and i ride with you now in today's video we are going to be talking about one thing that i have tried my best to explain but it's obvious that one video can't do it and that is the difference between skin lightening and skin bleaching because a lot of people tend to misunderstand the concept of skin lightening and mistake it for skin bleaching and come to my dm to tell me that they want to bleach their skin in a healthy way first and first there's nothing like bleaching your skin in a healthy way please crap that nonsense thought of because you have put healthy and that makes it good there's nothing like bleaching your skin in a healthy way so today i'm going to explain to you guys exactly what skin lightening and skin bleaching is because i don't want people to come up thinking that maybe i bleached my skin or something like that or i'm encouraging you to bleach your skin that's the last thing i would do i always preach this i always say this appreciate your skin color appreciate your skin color be it fair be it chocolate be it caramel be it dark be it dark dark appreciate your skin color what you need to understand when it comes to that skin that you're admiring is that they take extra good care of it. If you're dark skin and you take care of your skin the right way, believe me, you will love your skin. All you just need to do is to put in the effort and take care of your skin, use right products and believe me, you're going to love your skin. So let's just get straight into the video. If you have not subscribed, please do better to subscribe. I'm sure I've said that, right? But yeah, the first thing we are going to talk about is skin lightening. Now, skin lightening is the process whereby you are trying to get rid of excess melanin that was in your skin get rid of pigmentation get rid of acne scars get rid of dark spots just get rid of everything that you know is not supposed to be in your skin melasma acne scars even tan from the sun why bleaching is where you're trying to give yourself a shade that you are not yes you are not this particular shade and you want it just say for instance me now i can actually decide to bleach my skin and you would literally think that I was that color but i am not this is my original color even though i'm a little bit tan that is why once in a while we try to tackle the hyperpigmentation a dark skinned person can suffer hyperpigmentation a light skinned person can suffer hyperpigmentation a caramel skin person can suffer hyperpigmentation so when trying to lighten up your skin somehow we always think that funny enough that skin lightening is only for fair people do you know that there's a way someone that is dark is trying to get rid of the excess hyperpigmentation or melanin production on their skin because they are now extremely dark it's also called trying to lighten up that color i don't know whether that is right or maybe brighten up let me just use the term brighten up the person's color do you understand what i mean so when it comes to skin lightening we are very cautious of the products we use we are very cautious of the ingredients we use when it comes to skin lightening we target that specific hyperpigmentation that specific dark spot that specific consign by using the right cream the right serum the right amount of skincare active that is another importance of understanding the concept of skin lightening because you can innocently want to lighten up your skin and eventually end up looking bleached because you are not mindful and careful of the product that you're using for active when it comes to lightening up your skin we have the kojic acid we have the alpha abutin we have the liquorized extract or liquorized root whichever one you call it some people claim that vitamin c lightens up the skin but i'm not gonna say that vitamin c just brighten out your skin we also have the mulberry extract we have the papaya we have the turmeric we have the azelaic acid these are good active that will help to lighten out your skin we also have the hydroquinone now understand that when it comes to bleaching of the skin the first thing you can think of and the first active you can think of is hydroquinone but i'm sorry to say this that there is a specific amount of melanin production that is going to occur in your skin when you're trying to tackle your hyperpigmentation and lighten out your skin you will need hydroquinone the odds about is that some people tend to use the wrong amount of hydroquinone in their skin some people tend to use the wrong products in their skin some people tend to use product that contains more than two percent of hydroquinone which any brand that is actually producing such they need to be banned sued arrested and jailed because they'll be destroying innocent people's skin another thing to understand when it comes to skin bleaching is that it can actually cause a lot of damage hear me out skin bleaching can cause skin cancer skin bleaching 
can cause kidney failure. Skin bleach can cause liver failure. Anything that we apply on our skin somehow penetrates into our blood vessels. Do we know that? That is why it's always important to know that. Bleaching of your skin doesn't just end in the outer appearance. You will see some people when they're bleaching their skin, they are literally drying out, they are tanning because it's sucking. Those chemicals is sucking the living daylight out of them. So it is very essential to note that you are not bleaching your skin if you genuinely and intentionally want to lighten out your skin and get rid of those hyperpigmentation if you're doing it the right way. Especially these guilt that people have when they're trying to lighten out their skin and they start feeling like people think that they don't love their skin tone. If you're not dark, you're not dark. It's going to be obvious. If you're not fair, you're not fair. It's going to be obvious. And this whole idea of wanting to be fair, I always say this, I still don't understand it, literally. I still don't understand the whole concept of wanting to be fair. Any skin shade that you have found yourself in, nurture it, take care of it, pamper it, treat it right. And believe me, you will see people that I, I admire people that have dark skin like a lot. Not all. If you're taking care of your dark skin, I admire it. If you're not taking care of your dark skin, okay. It's not going to be cute in the eye. That is why you don't like it. When it comes to getting products that you need to lighten out your skin, you also need to take out for the ingredients. Always make sure that the right amount of active is in it and do not overuse it. Products like hydroquinol, any product that contains hydroquinol should be used within the range of three months. And sometimes in the beginning stage, I always say that it is not a product to use every day, depending on how bad your melanin is. You use it three times a week. If it's not that severe, I don't even think you should be using it there other alternative like alpha betaine now when it comes to alpha betaine you also shouldn't abuse it as much as it can be used every day but a certain time will come you need to slow down and stop using it and use a brightening or another active same thing with kojic acid kojic acid is also a strong active for lighting out of your skin okay but when it comes to bleaching products bleaching products mostly contain steroids please any product that contains such avoid it with everything you like they need to start banning all those creams i keep seeing in the cosmetic shop like i'm like what are all these creams doing you will see young in seven young in seven days extra extra white there's one i even saw i was looking at it i was like this people can't be serious if you see the many many things they wrote in this product and then they said you will see a visible result in three days i looked at that product i was like three days and they were like it contained a lot it contained hydroquinone it contained glutathione it contained i can't even remember because i was just like what the heck is this and then they wrote it boldly three days and you see some people going to buy it you cannot bleach your skin and enjoy your skin color actually believe me in the long run you're not going to like that skin shade trust me it's not just going to give you skin cancer and all that you will eventually get old your skin will shrink faster you will start having green veins as much as some people's green vein is natural like me i actually have green vein because i'm extra fair on my labs so sometimes you can literally see my small tiny veins and the rest but not all the time but you can also cause yourself stretch marks stretch mark is not bad but it is bad when it is you that caused it by using nonsense products here and there now one thing you will understand when it comes to skin lighting is that it targets the melanin you can literally see somebody using a good skin lightening product and they are getting frustrated because it is not giving them that sharp 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 result they are looking for a well formulated skin lightening product be it a serum be it a lotion is just targeting that particular place that is dark that particular place that there is excess melanin literally then evens out the skin that is the aim of it but bleaching products would just be doing i don't even i don't know how to explain what bleaching products is and how it works but i just know that it's just careless it just lightens every part of your body and at the end of the day gives you dark knuckles give you red vein give you green vein give you stretch mark there is no gain in bleaching your skin but once i want i made this video for you so that you understand there's a huge difference between skin lightening and skin bleaching skin lightening is you trying to get rid of that hyperpigmentation that dark spot that melasma that excess production of melanin that occurred in your skin in a very calm natural way that is not going to be harmful to your skin color why skin bleaching is you just giving yourself a completely different look so you see someone that is dark will become fair overnight and god i saw a tiktok where a girl was proudly producing bleaching products and people were buying it oh my god like she's literally doing sold out sold out sold out every other day what is that you all really need to calm down and chill with this whole trying to bleach your skin it's not cute it's not good so appreciate your skin color appreciate your skin good if it's inferior complex that is worrying you you need to fix it i understand i'm not even trying to be judgmental when it comes to people bleaching their skin but if you can at least just take care of that skin tone that god gave you nurture it well treat it well pamper it well exfoliate use the right product for it watch how it becomes very beautiful they are caramel skin that is very beautiful 
there are some dark skin people you will see self as a light skin person you want to be dark because the way the black is blacking oh my goodness so you all need to just crap out this whole concept of skin lighting is skin bleaching. even on tiktok i keep seeing them skin lighting is skin bleaching you coming to tell me that you want to lighten out your skin just say you want to bleach your skin it's not true it's not true crap that guilt and i will forever say it because i suffered from excess oh my god if you have been following me on the channel you will know that when it comes to skin darkening i suffered it a lot that is how i understood the concept of skin lightning you can't tell me now that i was supposed to leave my skin that way this way now i will inside the picture this way that is looking because i'm afraid of people saying that i bleached my skin when i know fully well that that is not my skin tone even at this point in time i am even tanning 100 percent i am tanning and tanning and tanning but i am kind of used to taking care of it that it doesn't become very obvious you won't believe that i'm tanning but it's me that i know that i am tanning my neck is literally becoming very annoying sometimes because i don't know why so because of that i will now be saying oh i don't want to lighten my skin because people will say i'm bleaching my skin it's ignorance that makes people think that skin bleaching and skin lightening is the same thing is nothing close to being the same thing and you need to understand that now if you want to properly lighten your skin you have to be very mindful of the product you use so that you don't now look like you want to bleach your skin or you are trying to bleach your skin and you got that now if you're trying to lighten out your skin or if you just never if you have not understood this whole skincare shenanigans what not what not what not i offer skincare consultation one-on-one -on -one personal talk with me concerning your skin issues whatever the case may be it's not free but it's very much affordable you can send me a dm on my instagram and we'll get your skin journey started the right way the right way correct way trusted tested and the best with all this being said i've come to the end of this video if you have any question leave it in the comment section i'll be glad to answer you till next time i'll see you guys like share comment i love you guys so much bye